You guys can stay. It's okay. So today, I got Hokan, I got Luna, and I got Vida. And today, we, we came up a little different trail today. It's been a long hike up here. We're right as high as we can go here. I couldn't see. There was no openings right there, but there's a little opening right here. So we thought, well, we'll do our video here. I just want to check my camera. You guys just hang on. I'll just make sure we're pointing in the right direction. Good. Good. Come boy, come Hulkin, come in the video. Now Luna and Vida are half sisters. They got the same father, Takoda. And Takoda is the great grandfather of this pup. So uh, Luna, Vida, and Tora are all sisters. And uh, that's the grandmother to Hulkin. Hokan is a son of pretty boy Leaf and Kai. And he is amazing. He's been a rock star this whole way. I haven't had to say his name one time. Just amazing. Now we hike the mountain regions in British Columbia, Canada. I raise elk hounds, the very best working lines in North America. All of these are working lines. Pretty Boy Leap is a show line, his dad, but he's got good instincts. He's a very, very good dog. But Kai just filled him right full of instinctive skill anyway. So there's no issues whatsoever with this guy. He works like a charm. Now, it's uh, it's rugged, remote terrain here. This this trail is a, is a rough trail. She's a, she's a rock-strewn boulder tough climb, all bush, all underbrush, and everybody had to work, especially me, of course. Now, uh, these guys are scouting my trail. These are fast-moving females, these two. Now, by the time we get here, they're a lot slower, but on the start of the trip, boy, they're making some miles, but uh, they, they work in a, a, a tandem really well, so uh, they trained Hoken how to how to do a lot. I've used them with him before, but I've used lots of dogs with him. He's he's highly skilled. Now he's here on what's called the Desna training program. And so I get him skilled in this environment. And for a lot of people, they have no hope of training a dog out here. They just they won't know how to do it and it would just wouldn't work. You can get a full instinct dog like these two and like him but you still have to have some background in training and you have to have some background in remote terrain dog handling. I'm not a dog trainer, I'm a remote terrain dog handler. 
and there's a <laughs> there's a difference um, and so uh, you've got to uh, be able to uh, work with the dog now the number one key of course in training for remote terrain is the dogs have to like you and the best place in the world for these dogs in their mind had better be right here because if anything comes up it's what's called a distraction and so if you can't get them to focus and leave the distraction and there's about a million distractions your dogs will be gone after the distraction and so you have to be able to zero the dogs in and that's that's what I do. I teach them how to zero in on the handler. Now the the way to do it, of course, is you build a bond individually with each dog. And I build it with the pups starting real early. But you build that bond. You sit with them. You cement that bond in. You make pals with that dog. And make sure that dog knows that the best place to be is basically right here. I mean, uh, they, they, this is some seriously good dogs. <laughs> you guys like me, don't you? I like you guys too. It's a good bunch of dogs. That's for sure, boy. But, so yeah, working remote terrain is different than working in urban areas. I mean, urban areas, you got to have the dog like you too. But in lots of cases in urban areas, they require you to put a harness on. They require you to have a leash, things like that. So the dog uh, has to learn a few different abilities. Now, these guys are highly skilled on leash too. Doesn't mean because they're off-leash dogs that they have no on-leash skills. They're very, very skilled that way. And the reason they are is because they focus on the hand. But still, um, out here, the control has to be mental. It, you have to be able to... Uh, to zero the dog in mentally from a distance and sometimes quite a hike. Let me just check that camera. I heard a click there. My camera has been cutting out. No, it's working good. But and so yeah, zeroing dogs in from a distance, you see, you have to have a really, really good bond, especially when they get a scent of something and it's all over here. We're in uh, bears and moose and and uh, all kinds of stuff. So they, they, we've been crossing tracks with everything. And they're, they're all around us. Hulkin, come in the video, boy. I want to show you off. Come up. Good boy. What a good boy. Oh, you're a fantastic boy. My goodness, you're a good boy. Come right up here. Oh, my goodness goodness. Have you ever seen anything like it? <laughs> That's my rock star. Oh, what a good boy. Yeah, it's a good boy. So he's heading home right away. Final day or two of his training and he's all set to go. He was trained a couple days back but I thought I'll do one more good trip with him today. Cement everything in rock solid. He is rock solid, but it's fun. I like hiking with these little guys. These two females, of course, wanted out. And so I brought them. They're exceptional. So both the girls are not two years old. Um, Luna's a little bit older than Vida. And uh, she'll be two in November. And we're in, we're in August now. And uh, so couple, three months, she'll be two, and Vida's about a year and a half. Luna will have a litter when she's two, and Vida when she's two, just over two, something like that. And uh, that's going to be some serious dogs coming out of these two. These are two of the very best old world working dogs in the world. Now, you got to watch your dogs, because they tell you what's going on. And they tell you where stuff is. You hike in remote regions, you better pay attention to your dog. And uh, they'll they'll watch everything. Now, I like to stop where we get the updrafts, right? It's blowing nice up here so they can catch everything. And uh, keep me posted. There's not much higher that we can go. We're right 
at the peak here. This is the top of that big, big ridge. That Now, I could have hiked further through the timber over to there, but uh, it's so smoky that we wouldn't have got a much better view anyway. So I thought, well, I'll stop here. Now, elk hounds, for anybody that doesn't know, they're a fantastic family dog. They're about 4,000 years old. They come out of Sweden and Norway. And uh, our lines come out of both those countries. Both these dogs have very strong ties to both of those. And they're Canadian dogs as well. And, of course, Hawken is a pretty boy leaf son, which is an American dog. Very, very good American dog. Um, Leaf is, as far as show dogs go, one of the very best in the world. He's an exceptional big fella, there's no doubt about it. Now, the, the working lineage in this line here, these three dogs, is pretty incredible. And uh, these, these guys have some serious skill out here in the bush. They're very focused, very good dogs. They never lose focus on where I am. And it's, a, it's an exceptional dog to work with in the bush. Now, they're full hunting legs. <laughs> These girls can hunt. So the bear, he come right down to the yard last night, and he was right close. And, you know, I'm telling you, I was trying to, uh, you know, just finish up the day. It came late in the day. And, uh, wow, what a commotion. So I, uh, I of course, let, uh, let a couple of them move them off the property and, and just kind of get him out of there. But uh, sure enough, this morning again, about 4.30, he's walking back through. So wherever they moved him to, they went the wrong way, so he was going the other way. So, yeah, it was quite a commotion around there. But I, uh, I let two of out, the uh, aunt to uh, Luna, and uh, she, she likes to go outside and just... Uh, so outside of our yard, I said, you go take him out of here, and <laughs> he won't be back. So that's good. It's a big old boar that likes to cruise through there. He comes every year, but he's a little bit early this year. He comes every year, and uh, I don't like him coming right by the house. So the dogs, they move him out. He's fine. We don't bother him, but he likes to come down and snort things out. But I had little tiny pups down there, so it rattles them females. They get pretty uptight. Oh, can you come up in the video, buddy? Come in the video, boy. What a good boy. Oh, my goodness. Luna, come by me. Come in the video, girl. We'll just film for a minute, Luna. Now, I don't know. Well, I know the male I'm using on Vida, and that's a stunning rock star male named Torleaf. He's out in Ottawa right now. We're going to put Torleaf with uh, Luna. Now, Kim has got him out there, and we're going to work with her. He's one of our pups, and we're going to, uh, to uh, use him. Now, he happens to be a pretty boy Leaf's son. And uh, he's, uh, he's also a son out of Tuba. Now, Tuba is the aunt to Luna. Tuba and Tekla are sisters, and uh, Tekla is the mother of Luna. Torley, come in the video, boy. I just want you in the video for a couple minutes, then we'll get hustling. He's ready to go again. I'm still soaked. I could cool down yet for a bit here. Come on, boy. Come right in the video. By me. Poke it by me. Uh, you girls know that. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ah, he's got lots to explore. That's okay. He's he's good. So yeah, and uh, Luna, I'm working on that. I have some options I'm exploring. But no matter which way we go, there'll be some seriously good pups. There's no doubt about that. Well, girls, that's a pretty good video. I think that turned out really good. I'm just trying to see if I can turn that camera on Hoken one last minute and watch him run around a little bit. Let's just see here.
Something's really good on the rocks and stuff. Catch him. This is rugged terrain. Ah, uh, they're ready to get rolling. You better be in pretty good shape. You take some young dogs out. High powered dogs. Dogs that like to hustle, boy. Gotta stretch one of these legs out a little bit. Wanted to catch Hoken coming back in. There he comes. Good boy, Hoken. Good boy. Yeah, we might have a young uh, eagle up or a hawk up on the left here. Hawk, I guess. There is a golden eagle. I think he's over on the other ridge, but I can't quite see him. Yeah, that's a hawk, I guess. Yeah, it's a young one in there. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. I can't see him, but I can hear him. He can't be very far away. I don't know if you guys can hear him. All right. <laughs> 